Hey, what's going on guys? This is DRock over at one half 2.0 slash Invicta with the next 2.0 war recap. Um, so this one was mm, kind of a snoozer, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but, um, you know, we did okay. We knew this wasn't going to be that close of a war, so probably, you know, we were experimenting and trying some new things, so, um, you know, probably got it. Could have got more stars than we did, but either way, um, good effort by us. They did only get three star, uh, three three stars, and that was by Town Hall 10s coming down. So not really a war clan, but we did have some pretty cool attacks. I wanted to show. I got three to show you. Um, the first one is going to be from Ido on nine, and what he did on a cleanup attack. Uh, so this is one of the bases actually that was kind of like a three star or anti three star type base so it's kind of you know interesting base to go after and he did a cleanup attack with a queen walk so he has three healers here going after the queen the reason why is that he has two point defense and a couple splash coming at the queen so he needed that, those healers to do additional work than usual um you know once he takes down these point defense then the, the queen will go all the way back up to full health um, she's gonna start walking left the reason why he has the queen walking that way is because you'll see in a moment when he starts breaking in um, from the four four o'clock five o'clock range with the golems that there's actually a hound in the CC so he didn't want the queen to get involved and end up popping that hound he wanted it just the hound to, to follow that queen uh, that king and golems around the entire time so it's pretty much useless so very nice um i really like that he brought two golems but he also brought valks to almost act as that third golem uh, or fourth golem as well just to push deep into the base get those those bombs triggered uh, queen's gonna go down extremely fast here in a moment um get, oh, got the uh the bombs triggered already pretty soon here he's gonna start with the the, the hog deployment healers are already pretty much dead but they've done their work queens at full health still has her ability so he comes in with just a, a lump of hogs from that uh, one o'clock two o'clock range and he's just going to plow through the remainder of the base um, He's still got another heal, and he smartly saved his poison for those skellies that are going to end up um, clumping up together on the last section of the base. So he's going to just put his poison down here, and then it's pretty much GG at this point. Um, those skeletons are gone, he still has a lump of hogs left, and the queen still has her ability, so I absolutely crushed that base. Good job, you know. Goes the dynamite. All right. Next attack we have um, Dingus on ten. Um, a, another Queen Walk. So this time actually has five healers, um, two witches, and a golem in the CC. So pretty unique army comp. Um, really liked. It. I thought at the beginning when I first started watching this that the healers were too many, but ended up actually helping them in the long run um, because you'll see that those healers will actually latch on to the golem and, and uh, that one golem turns into two or three. So, um, pretty nice use out of those. So, here I'm going to speed it up a little bit. There we go. To make sure that the other thing comes in. Sorry, guys, for those messages. I should have turned that off, but. Um, witches come in, those witches didn't get too much use out of them, um, but they were supposed to be for the dragon coming out of the, the clan castle. Um, I think some splash or a bomb takes out the witches, I'm not, I am not can't remember exactly. Um, but didn't even, didn't even wait to put his hogs down for the surgical part now. Um, that's gonna go fine, so he's gonna start working on uh, counterclockwise around the base puts his first heal nice placement around a bunch of defenses where they're gonna be standing in it for a while um, that expo is gonna be busy golems triggering bombs in the core those healers still healing that golem so really got the full value out of those healers there um, 
and then he still has one more heal for the back end so as that uh, last bomb triggers he puts his heal down and it is all over at this point a huge wad of hogs healers still remaining that golem hasn't even been uh, touched because of all that healing that has been under um, so at this point it is cleanup still has a witch around the uh, outside doing some some trash building cleanup so really nice job dingus keep it up buddy Alright, and the last one, we have a Valk attack. So, anytime that you have these huge cores with these clumped up air defenses, you know what we're going to hit you with. Um, it's just, those max Valks are too too powerful not to do it. Um, two golems going down to create that nice and wide funnel to make sure that his he guides his Valks into the core. A um, couple of wall breakers. No, he actually just uses that jump. I don't know if it does it connect. Well, it'll be interesting to see if it connects all the way to the core. If not, those valves will make short work of the wall. But oh, they did. So wow, that yeah, that jump spell really is um, much more useful now since you could see that it barely connected that. But uh, they still made their way in. Um, so completely coring out the uh, hollowing out the core. One critique I had is that he was a little late on the uh, loon deployment, but not that big of a deal. Still has his poison. I'm hoping that he's gonna drop that on the uh, the pups here soon. Probably busy with the uh, the loon deployment at that point. But yeah, there are no air defenses at this point, and only a wizard tower and an archer tower left and he still has a huge wad of balloons and Valks on the opposite side doing the cleanup so um, this must have been a pretty short attack because he absolutely wrecked it but very nice job Cash keep it up buddy I think that's like the third Valk attack I've shown by Cash so really go to army but um cool man um so that's gonna do it for this war recap we have some exciting stuff coming up um, next few wars so keep an eye out um, if you like the video and if you like us bringing you contact uh, content please uh, subscribe and hit the like button and we'll uh, keep it going for you guys all right um, until next time oh man I gotta turn off these notifications um, that is what the hive is cooking so see you guys later